Reddit. What's your family's dark secret? NSFW. My uncle was investigated for the Green River killings. Years later he was investigated for the Spokane prostitute murders. He was good friends with Yates, who was found guilty, and his saliva was found on a beer can near a dumping site. When I was a little girl. My mom told me to never get in his car if he tried to pick me up. Funny enough. He sells life insurance. My great aunt had a second child and gave it up for adoption because she was a newly single woman and didn't think she could provide for both kids. This apparently caused a lot of drama in our family back in the 70s and people stopped talking to each other over it. My generation never heard a single word of any of this. Then. One day. My mom calls me to tell me about my new cousin. I was baffled and figured someone had a kid. Nope. That little girl that was given up for adoption was now in her 40s and hired a private investigator to find her biological family. She's since been assimilated into the family and I see her regularly at family events. My great grandfather was a Christian scientist minister, they believe that the mind can cure the body, and he told the family of a girl with diabetes. A treatable disease to pray the sickness away. The girl soon died and the girl's father held my great grandfather in a murderous rage. My grandparents swapped spouses. My grandmother on my mother's side had an affair with my grandfather on my father's side. Everyone got divorced and then my grandfather on my mother's side fell in love and married my grandmother on my father's side. Family reunions were fun. A super distant uncle in my family used to get in a lot of trouble with cops. My nan and great aunt used to hide him, once hiding him in a freezer while cops searched the house. One day he ended up kidnapping an ambassador. Successfully ransomed him off. Tried escaping the country via boat but the captain realized he was a crook and tried to take him to the cops. Distant uncle instead holds captain at gunpoint. And dives off the boat several kilometers off land. Police never found him and assumed he drowned. Decades later my nan got a letter from him. Confirming to all of us he was alive and well. My mom was great when she was 14. Her dad, my granddad, tracked the guy down and shot him dead in a bar. Great grandmother in a brothel. Great grandfather was murdered by brothers who decided they were both in love with my great grandmother. Great grandfather was in the Kayi 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 lol. The Kayi 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 lol was quoted in the newspaper as saying something like we take care of our own. The brothers were never seen nor heard from again. Edit, brothers were two siblings. Unrelated to my family. And not members of the Kayi 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 lol. I don't know how they plan to divide time with great grandmother. Also. When my grandfather helped lay out my great grandfather for burial. Nine bullets fell out of my great grandfather. My grandfather died in 1946. Before my dad was even born. We were always told he drove his truck into a ditch while drunk. Fell asleep. And asphyxiated when the tailpipe got clogged with mud. He was in his early 30s at the time. Well. I got into genealogy a couple of years back and found a bunch of records and newspaper articles about the incident. Turns out grandpa wasn't alone in the truck. He was with an underage girl less than half his age, who also died alongside him. Obviously. This was not my grandmother, the newspapers didn't say it explicitly. But there was heavy insinuation that there was some side of the road romance happening when the fumes apparently overtook both of them. I still haven't told my dad what I found. Not sure I ever will. Found out when I was a teenager that my mom had an affair with my dad's brother and that my brother and I might not be my dad's biological kids. Edit, just to clarify. It was rough for a long time and parts of my family are broken. But I love my mom and dad mistakes and all. My grandfather went away to fight in Vietnam and when he came back my grandma was pregnant with my mom. We never knew who her real dad was. My granddad was into dating students before it became something people lost their job over. That's how our family got started, he taught. Then gave extra credit to. My grandmother. My great grandmother was married to her first husband. 
an Italian mobster in New York. In the early 1920s, they had four kids. In 1928, six years after they were married, she disappeared and no one in the family knew what happened to her. They all quietly assumed her husband had her healed. As it was known he was very abusive to her. Nope. She ran off with my great grandfather. They moved to Philadelphia and had changed their last names. They were always very secretive about their past. No one knew the original family names or where they had come from. Until I took a DNA test and matched with a third cousin that was descended from her first set of children. Her original four children were sent to orphanages because a first husband couldn't take care of them. It was a big surprise for both families and some very hurt feelings for the children she had abandoned. They are in their 90s but it affected them their entire lives. Birth mum was a prostitute. Adoptive mum tried to heal my dad with rat poison. Grandmother was a thief. Her brother was healed by their father. As far as I know. Only my mother and I, possibly my stepfather but I'm not sure, know that my real father wasn't some guy my mom dated in college but a stranger who grabbed her and a assaulted her. I didn't even know this until she told me when I was a teenager. On my father's side. My grandfather and my father are both guilty of incest grape. My father is the only one who has been found out though. He took a deal to register as a sex offender. Only because my little brother and sister were about to testify about what he did to them. The family still defended him. Their precious boy. And they shunned my aunt for believing her own daughter. When she outcried that he had graped her. I of course do not keep in touch. But he is now with a woman. Who's completely brainwashed that he is innocent. With a young. 6 stroke 7, yo daughter. Poor child. My dad's brother is a pedophilic sex offender. Was caught with over 52,000 images of CP on his computer. As well as bragging about abusing children as young as 5. My mom's parents were uncle and niece. Her dad married his brother's daughter. Their family was on the east coast and they ran away together to California. They had two kids. My mom and her older brother. All of us are a product of incest. My grandmother had an affair with my aunt's high school boyfriend's father. It became very awkward when my aunt married said boyfriend. And had a kid with him. Why? Because my grandmother married said boyfriend's father. My aunt now has a kid with her stepbrother. My grandfather's dad tried to join the Nazis. But his family moved him to Canada to prevent it. Edit. An apostrophe. Also I put my grandfather's dad instead of great grandfather because there's no blood relation. My mother was adopted. And we never met him. Only info I've gotten is from my grandfather. One of my aunties was a very very ill woman like oxygen to get out of the chair. Going upstairs is a one a week thing if lucky, her son is a brick. When she refused to pay his drug debt off for the nth time because she had no more money he poured petrol all over the house and threatened to burn her to death. The fumes were enough for her to pass out. He panicked took a handful of pills then panicked at that decision and called himself an ambulance, didn't even mention his mum. Police turned up with the paramedics. Arrested him and took her in the ambulance. I disowned him instantly. I am distantly related to the Unabomber. My dad is abusive and keeps my mother in debt so she can't take us and leave. We look like a perfect middle class family from the outside but boy is it sheet on the inside. My uncle. The protestant minister. Was doing wealth management on the side. Turned out to be other people's wealth into his pockets. Got caught. And healed himself before they arrested him. My dad's family is messed up. His cousin told her husband that if he didn't stop smoking she'd divorce him. So instead of quitting he lied about having cancer. When he went to the hospital he told her he was getting treatment but instead smoked at the hospital. This all happened before I was born but yeah her husband lied about having cancer for almost a decade. My dad is the only normal one in the family. My family was smuggling diamonds in the Appledon area of the Netherlands from the late 1800s up until WW2 they got pretty rich off it too until the Nazis invaded and took most of them into concentration camps. My great grandfather. 
while on the train Stella Camp convinced himself and several others to jump from the trains. As they did they were gunned down by Nazi soldiers and my great grandfather was one of the only survivors. Grandparents on my stepmother's side paid a hitman to take out my father. Luckily the guy had morals. He met my father and after talking to him a bit ended up telling him what he was originally there for and that he was going to return the money. I don't really think that this is a dark secret but it's something that I didn't find out until I was an adult. Which was mostly because my grandma doesn't like talking about it. So I think it counts. When I was going through some old stuff of my grandma's after the death of my mother. I found some old photographs of a baby, not my mom because my mom had dark, almost black, hair at birth and this baby was blonde, and a birth certificate for someone named Francesco, mom's maiden name. I asked my grandma about it and at first she didn't really want to tell me. But I gave her some space and she must have decided that I deserved to know. Or maybe she was just tired of having the secret. Because she eventually told me. Francesco. Who they called Frank. Was my grandma's son. He was my mom's younger brother by a couple of years. Apparently. When Frank was three. My grandma's ex-husband kidnapped him and my grandma never saw him again. My grandma's ex-husband. My grandfather. Although I don't consider him such. The least reason for which is because I never met him. Was involved with the mob bandit suspected that he took Frank with him back to Sicily. But nobody is really sure. My grandma is pretty sure that he would have taken my mom too. If my mom hadn't been sick and in the hospital due to tonsillitis at the time. It's kind of given me an idea of why that side of my family can be kind of withholding about things. I didn't know my mom had been married before my dad until I was a teenager. But it also makes me feel really, really sorry for my grandma. Grandfather tried to axe mare dare my dad. Cousin is a porn star. By this time. I'm sure you've heard this all before. Me. So my biological father had me out of wedlock. No one in his family knows about me, that I know of. I've never met any of them. And the last time I talked to him he asked me to stay away because it would ruin his marriage reputation. Honestly. I don't care that much. I didn't meet him until I was like 23 so by that point it's not like anything had really changed in my life other than another blip in my life. I've got way worse stories and issues going on so it's a fairly minor blip at that. I've actually got a sister and niece that I've never met but I've internet stalked a couple of times. I sent her $50 anonymously through GoFundMe a while back. But I doubt I'll ever contact her. There's no way I'd ever send a hey it's me your brother. I don't know if our dad ever mentioned it. But he knocked up my mom about 30 years ago.